I'm Justin Combs. Uh, I want to talk to you today about uh, post-secondary transition. Uh, I'm a special education teacher at uh, Breathitt County High School. I teach 9 through 12. Uh, I collaborate mostly in English and math. Um, my problem with practice uh, is kind of two-pronged. Um, most high school special education teachers don't um, have enough time to meet with their students. Uh, to discuss post-secondary transition as much as we want to. Um, and our special education students really require this intense instruction um, for guidance and planning after graduation. Uh, you know, it's starting at the middle school level, completing the ILPs. Um, you know, I don't get to meet with my kids as, as much as I'd like. A lot of us, uh, you know, we're running all the time, uh, doing different things, pulling for tests or we're running around uh, trying to do everything all the time and we really don't get to do uh, secondary post-secondary transition as much as we want to um, so what I would like is um, I found different resources online uh, but I never found anything that was like really student specific um, so I made this checklist and that was to prepare our uh, special education students uh, to be ready for a real world after graduation, uh, beginning at the sixth grade level uh, and continuing to the 12th grade. Uh, this checklist um, it provides students three extra years of work to determine what kind of career path they want and to actually explore many different things. Uh, yeah, I know in sixth grade you're not going to know, you know right off what you want to do. You know, but it gives you a chance to start actually exploring careers, and uh, you know, as they get older, you know, they'll get actually get used to uh, looking for careers, and uh, that'll help doing the I ILPs. Um, and the thing about this checklist, it's going to be it'd be interactive. It's got hyperlinks in it. It has um, you know really valuable resources for the students to use, and. Um, you know, the purpose of it would be to increase positive post-secondary transition outcomes. Uh, you know, if you look at the research, you know, a lot of our special education students, they do move on to uh, something after high school. They, they either go to uh, a college, they transition into the workforce, uh, they enroll in training programs, um, you know, as you can see here in the data, you know, these kids, they, they're going to go and they're going to try to do stuff. They, they really are. And I think making this checklist will uh, really help them explore all these different career options that, that we might not know about or not us, but, you know, our kids might not know about certain careers. Like I had a senior uh, this year that uh, really didn't know anything about graphic design and when she started designing things she really started liking it and that's that's what she wants to do now uh, you know if if we would have got started earlier you know may have been great to take more computer classes and things like that but uh, you know that's what she wants to do now um, so this the data that was created that that's to assist teachers by developing a process for the students to envision their future. Uh, this process was starting in the sixth grade, uh, you know, like I said, to explore different things. Um, you now it helped assist teachers. Uh, students can receive guidance and instruction needed to follow that career path. Um, you know, places more responsibility upon the student also. You know, once they get, you know, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, they can really study up on this stuff and they can actually go to this checklist and actually go and look at all the resources, all the hyperlinks. And we're going to have question and answer sessions also. All right, there's a little checklist, uh, you know, starting in grade six. Kind of, It's kind of what we do now for our high school. Uh, so, uh, so how will this improve uh, for teachers? I really think that, uh, you know, the checklists and everything that that's going to help with resources. Uh, I really think that the teachers, um, you know, it's hard to make time, and this would really help students uh, begin to explore things independent. 